All right, here we are at Lake Palms. We're gonna see both units 2C and 2G. Property was built in 56. Now it looks like all the windows were replaced at some point in time. The sliding door, sliding door is not all of them. You see that one's new where this one isn't. But the windows were all replaced at the same time and that may have been a result of, you know, sometimes, you know, the association will require them all to be done at the same time and they just charge an assessment. Next door, some new townhouses going in. Across the streets, another new construction. And then further down the line, you see a new building here. Um, in my opinion, I like this area better because it's closer to downtown and there's a um, lot more walkability. Although I'm splitting hairs because everything is probably half a mile away from each other. And then down the street, you can see the lake, which is nice and serene. I'm going to walk around the building first before we go inside. Got an older residential house here. Voila. Very, very nice. Oh. All right, so let's take a tour around the building. Now you see some units have hurricane shutters. Those are usually to denote that there are people that are snowbirds that may not actually be here um, yet for the winter months, which is surprising at this point because we're in December. The stucco looks very new, very good, well done. And we do see there's a parking spot here, two other parking spots here. They're numbered, so I don't know which, they're not numbered by unit, I don't think. Well, maybe they are, 2D, 1A, 5, 2B, 5A. Looks like you get storage units, and these are numbered. There's 2C storage unit. It is locked, and 2G is at the very end. This one may not be locked, so we can get an idea of what it looks like inside. Okay. So the storage unit looks like a four by six space. You can have a little storage here, bicycle stuff, everything, although there is a bicycle rack, so you wouldn't need to hold a bicycle here. But it's nice to have a storage unit. Let's continue walking around the building. This seems to be another apartment complex next to us. Looks like the units have their balconies screened, which is nice. And this parking it probably belongs to this apartment complex. So let's continue down. 3C, 2H. Can't read that one. Forty, not sure what that means. Now it looks like there's work being done to this unit which might explain why the stucco looks so good and new. Looks like they might be doing some work here. So, very important that we discuss any assessments. Um, if they've been paid, if there's anything else that's coming, we gotta get meeting minutes for the last two years for you to pour over those. Also, uh, 
get a copy of the budget and condo docs and such. Anyway, these townhomes look nice and new. They'll probably sell for, I'm going to guess in the sixes, maybe sevens, depending how big they are. And this is another condo building they're building in the distance. And I'm not sure what they're building right here. It looks more like an office than anything else. So we're going to continue on. I don't know if I parked in somebody's unit or not. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I don't remember seeing any numbers or anything on any of these spots. But I wasn't able to find 2G or 2C's parking. So, here's the front doors. To the left and the right are small sitting areas. As we go down the stairs, nothing major here. The lobby windows are floor to ceiling windows. And now oh, they have a fob. There we go. So here's the main lobby. Definitely 1956 terrazzo floors, open and well lit. Looks like there's an office here. And then we're gonna go up a couple steps and there's a door to our left, old style door. This leads to the back area. There's a fob here too. And this is where the parking was and the storage. Again, I have no idea where 2G and 2C's spots are. Can't read where this white SUV is, but let's continue on. So, coming back in, there's the reverse view of the lobby. There's the elevator which we're about to take. And then we have the mail room. Small bathroom here. Not sure where this goes. And then here, we have the laundry room. sure where the light switch is for this one. Where is it? There it is. And then I think each unit has designated times throughout the the morning and afternoon on when they can when their laundry assignment duty is. And uh, I think after you know, 4 or 5 p.m., you can do it whenever you want. But if it's during the day, that's the assigned days and spots. 2C's is 12, 30 p.m. Thursday. 2G is Saturday at 12.30. And here's the bike room. Looks like a lot of people have bikes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the units. Not sure where this door goes. Yeah, it looks like it goes to the back where there's a lot of construction going on where we pointed out earlier. So first one we're gonna look at is 2C. for the co-op, mission statement, meeting for the shareholders, and more information. And 
should I hit the number two? There we go. Looks like I didn't hit the button hard enough. So, the ground floor is L, first floor one, second floor two. So, you're technically on the third floor. So let's look for 2C. There's 2D. There's 2C. So this is the one where we're at. There's a view of the neighbor's apartment complex. Here's a view of the parking lot for the building. More units. This unit is empty. I'm not sure if I have the right keys or not. Let me double check. I may have grabbed the unit from the wrong keys. Here we go. Yeah. Bear with me. So, you have hardwood floors. They look like they're about 15 to 20 years old. Actually in pretty good shape from what I can see. Immediately to your left where you walk in is a coat closet slash pantry. And then to the right is the kitchen. The kitchen is very basic. It does have a dishwasher though. Um, it does have a skinny range, not a full range. It has a smaller refrigerator, no microwave. As there was no microwaves in 1956, there wouldn't have been one here. This is a vent fan. Judging by the windows, these look like they were put in about 20 years ago. So we're moving along, main living area. These are definitely the original sliding glass doors. Um, balcony is covered, view of the construction going on. This is the one bedroom. It's very basic, the tile is original tub is original, lower ceilings, not sure what that is up there. Um, sink and toilet look like they're 20 years old as well. Bedroom, it could barely fit a king, it would do better with a queen. Carpet would need to be changed out as a quasi walk-in closet. And you have the windows again. Not sure what's going on here. Looks like this one window is starting to fall down. Yeah, the floors are more worn here than anywhere else. I also did see access to the air conditioning. That might be what's above the shower. So we're gonna go through and exit, lock up and hit to G. find 2G. My guess is it's going to be over here in this blue section. There's 2D. There's 2E. There's 2F and 2G is going to be right next door. There's 
Yeah, it looks like they're reinforcing all the balconies and stuff here. So let me find the key to 2G. Original door. And you can see what some of the other people have done when they put in new doors. This one's empty as well. This one doesn't have real wood floors, it's got laminate floors. There's a closet door here for the pantry sash coat closet. The kitchen looks like it was updated slightly. Cabinets still look original. No mic, no dishwasher. This is where the dishwasher was. Still smaller fridge. Still smaller, uh, normal size range. No microwave. I mean, you could obviously fit both a microwave and a dishwasher. You would just have to reconfigure everything. Very colorful walls. This one's got a slightly better view of downtown. Rooms are basically the same size. Bathroom, still hardly updated except for the vanity and possibly the toilet, tub, shower, tile, original. Again, I still think this is where you access the air conditioner. And that's everything. Location is great for both. Um, the units themselves, they're okay. Um, they're both in good locations. Again, your splitting hairs are half a mile apart from each other in terms of location. Two bedroom obviously gives you more room. You still don't have washer and dryers in either unit. These have newer windows than the other unit in the other uh, building, the first one we saw. And uh, that's about it.